More police on Portland streets. Turns out there's a new state law that holds them back when destruction breaks out. And this week, we saw the consequences. A Coin 6 reporter witnessed police sitting in their cars while vandals damaged dozens of buildings downtown. Elise Haas asked the tough questions of state and city leaders to find out why. What did you find out here, Elise? Just last night, we told you how a Portland police lieutenant was telling residents in the Pearl District that a new Oregon police reform law dramatically limits their options when responding to destructive protests and riots. Just to be clear, you know, this legislation passed in April, but there's still no clear communication from the city of Portland on how officers should be responding with this legislation. That is correct. The executive director of the Portland Police Association says their hands are tied when responding to destructive vandalism like this in downtown Portland on Tuesday night. House Bill 2928 regulates officers' use of chemicals like pepper spray, impact munitions, and sound devices, and prohibits the use of them for crowd control. And when we can't use those tools, we can't do our job. And then we get blamed for not doing our job correctly when things don't work out the way they should work out. Portland police say that's why our reporter saw them stay in their patrol cars while windows were being smashed, causing an estimated half a million dollars in damage. I asked Portland police to clarify, has this law been communicated properly to PPB or are officers acting on their own interpretation? In a statement they said in part, the entire bureau membership has been made aware of the potential implications of House Bill 2928 and that it's being analyzed by the city's attorney's office. PPB command always takes into account the legal restrictions we are under when considering any course of action. Representative Janelle Bynum sponsored this bill. She pointed us to numerous law enforcement associations like the sheriffs, chiefs of police, and Oregon State Police who wrote in support of this legislation. She says if the city of Portland has an urgent problem with the law, they need to say so, but at this point, that they haven't. And I've reached out to the mayor about this, and his office did call me, and though they haven't gotten me a response at this time, he is working to get me answers. I also reached out to the city attorney's um, office. They didn't respond to my calls and emails for comment, so I'll be continuing to follow this next week. Live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Point Six News.